you can see clearly this basically doesn't even look like I had used AI in the image at all. What did he say? Hey. Oh, Look, guys, I know I'm a bit late on this, but can we all just pretend like this is still relevant? No! Please, guys. No! Please. Anyways, I know I like to get funky in my videos, but before we get fully into this, I do want to say no hate towards Ergo Josh or any other artist in this video. Oh. Now, while I do disagree with a lot of his opinions, in no way do I bear any ill will towards him as a person. I just disagree with a lot of his stances on AI. So I better not see any of you gremlins being weird in the comments. I, I see you guys. Speaking of gremlins, we have like 2,000 of you guys, which is crazy. If you're not subscribed, you should hit- No! So for those of you who have been living under a rock, or you just don't know who this is, I'm going to give you a TLDR of the situation. Some of you guys may be asking, who is Ergo Josh? Well, he is an extremely popular art content creator who has been creating content for years already at this point. He gained popularity sharing his art journey online on how he persevered through all the trials and tribulations that come with learning and bettering his own art. Some of his most impactful videos, in my opinion, are the ones where he shares his struggles that a lot of other artists also have, letting them know that they aren't alone and that if he can get through it, they can as well. Now, with all that being said, you can imagine how shocked his fans were when he created a community post that essentially said, I don't know how to draw flowy hair without making it look flat, so I'm going to use AI. All the rest of this fluff is him just saying, you still need to be good at art to make AI look good. Oh, hell no. Hearing an established artist say this is really sucks to hear. It reminds me of Shadversity and him insisting that it takes a lots of skill to use AI. I think it's just way worse when Ergo Josh does it because he really doesn't need to rely on this type of stuff to still create amazing art. So you may already be able to put together why his fans are extremely upset with him coming out to support generative AI. He has lots of comments on this post, so I'm just gonna pick out some of the top ones here and we could go over what his fans are saying. We have Feudal Grief here saying, I thought you thrived on the challenge of art improvement. I get what you mean about using AI serving as a tool, but in this case, it's literally solving the creative and technical problem that I thought you enjoyed exploring and sharing with us. This is how we allow technology to dumb us down. This doesn't seem like the way to use it. We have another comment here by Steel Case saying, nah, your artistic convenience is not worth the price the rest of the industry has to pay for your use of mid-journey. I have no interest and am literally devastated that you're using AI underneath your images. Been following you for years and have appreciated your insightful commentary. There are lawsuits with artists fighting for their creative future and you're insulated as a YouTuber with an audience. The creative industry is in shambles because corporations can outsource <laughs> Guys, let me just say this. As much as we complain about AI and everything, like, in the end of the day, like, what are you going to do about it? And people keep saying, oh, that's a defeatist attitude. It's not a defeatist attitude. Like, what the hey. fuck? Like, in the end of the day, you can keep supporting Carla. Great if you want to push for regulation, but while that's happening what are you doing though and when i say this people are gonna say oh it, that's defeatist but like how am i de being defeatist by seeing things as they are it yeah he's right and you're a bitch hey! for not for not doing it too what you gonna whine and complain what was wrong ai's big big bad monsters coming to get you get over yourself this is the future it's there to get the result that i wanted i remain the artist in control here i am the one making the decisions and that is what separates me from someone who uses ai to just hey! out artworks for lack of sorry for that crude term and just say that they're theirs what Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know what sort of tomfoolery these large artists are taking part of, but I want no part in it. Like, it's pretty simple. Generative AI currently steals from artists, so I don't support it. <laughs> Even if it's not the case, it feels like a lot of artists are just deciding to give up against any sort of fight against generative AI. Some notable artists being Davi, Adam Duff, and Ergo Josh. In one of Davi's podcasts, he says that he's just being realistic for seeing things how they are, which is ironic because five seconds later, he talks about 
his dream to pursue art as a career. And I, oh. I'm not trying to throw any shade. You know, he said it, not me. Also, since when as artists have we ever worked in the realm of reality? Like our jobs as artists is to literally make the impossible possible. Now isn't the time to tell people to stop talking or complaining about AI just because it's already here or whatever garbage you guys like to spew. And that's not even getting into why artists even feel the need to use generative AI at all. Like what happened to just getting good? Every use of AI that I've seen from artists currently just comes from laziness. Or maybe it's a lack of love for the craft, which begs the question, why are you still doing what you're doing if you don't like it? Look, I'm garbage at backgrounds. My first thought is, what can I do to make that easier on myself? And for some reason, a lot of people instantly think AI. Guys, as 2D artists, have we completely forgotten that 3D exists? Blender is a free application, and it's such a good tool. I'm learning it right now. Do you have to leave your comfort zone to learn new things and to better yourself? Yes. And I think that's precisely why AI is so tempting. You get to stay inside your comfort zone for mediocre at best results at the cost of the exploitation of your comrades. Is that a decision that you want to willingly make? Generative AI tangent over, I wanted to give a bit of props to Adam Duff. He did come out with an apology video of sorts where he didn't really apologize for anything he said, but more that his audience took it what he said in the wrong way. And I think that's the most important takeaway. Many of these creators do have mostly valid opinions, but they present it in such an inflammatory way that it ostracizes their audience to the point where they don't even want to listen to anything you have to say, even if your underlying message is true, especially in such an emotionally charged conversation like AI. I think we need to be more careful and considerate on how we present what we're saying. The exception to this is Ergo Joss. I'm not sure what villain arc he is going on. Him and Chadversity being in cahoots was not on my bingo car for 20 2024. There's actually a lot more I could yap about, but I think a lot of people have already talked about this, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse more than I already have. Once again, no hate to any of the artists mentioned in this video. Not everyone has to agree on everything. On that note, let me know in the comments what your opinions are on this whole situation around AI. Are you okay with Ergo Josh ethically, in quotes, using AI? Are you still subscribed to any of these creators? I've actually seen Adam Duff commenting on a lot of videos being created around this topic, so it seems like he is genuinely listening to the community here. I'm curious if that affects any of your guys' opinion on him after seeing his initial video. Just a reminder to keep the comments and discussion civil. These creators also made some insightful videos regarding this topic. These artists, along with any other artists mentioned in this video, will be down below, so check them out. Anyways, moral of the story, think before you speak.